Good day, guys. Bing here.、Um, today we're going to try try this、um, this exercise.、Um, we're going to create some、uh, frame、uh, follow the shape of the roof. Okay, something like this. So let's start. So first, let's create a project. And in this project, I'm going to、uh, create some wall. W A. Okay, so let's go to three D view. And I'm going to create a, a, a curved, a curved roof. So I'm going to use model in place mass first. Okay, so I'm going to use a reference line, spline through points to just place three reference line, reference line, three、uh, spline, spline through points onto the top of the wall, and. So this one, don't worry too much. We can just move it, okay? Move it roughly here, and you can always, ah,、uh, or、oh, actually, when I place those points, I use the draw on web, draw on face. So it's being placed onto the face, but don't worry, you can always change. You can always, ah,、uh, let me just select all these points. You can select all these points and change them to not associated. So this way, you can adjust them. Very easily, all right. So now I'm going to just adjust some of the the height of some points, so we can create some a a, sh a shape. Okay, so maybe let's go up a little bit. Okay, so now one select all these three reference line, and then we can create a form, and this will be the form of our roof. So now we can finish this and create a roof by face, and pick this. And create a roof. So this is it. So now we can select all this wall, attach top, pick the roof, and this is it. So now we can、um, place place those、um, the the beam the frames. So one of the method is so let let me just H H the roof because we already have this、uh, mass. So it's very easy. So we don't even need to go back there. So we just create a curtain system using this mass surface and create a system. Okay. So now we just need to go select this curtain system, edit type. We just need to adjust size. So for example, I'm going to just change these to a relatively smaller number, so to match the the image we have in that document. So I'm going to just use this、uh, existing. A、uh, mullion size, and click on OK. Then let's have a look. Okay, so yeah, basically it's very close already. So we just need to adjust them a little bit first.、Uh, I want to unpin one of them. Edit type, duplicate. I'll just create a new one. So I'll just call it new. So maybe this I'll make it slightly bigger. So for example, I want to make it um uh forty forty five on each side. Make it ninety, and this make it maybe make it make it three hundred. Okay. So click OK. So yeah, that's bigger. And also I want to offset this to to be so because the surface is there. Currently, the mullion sit in the middle, so we can type、uh, maybe negative one fifty, so half of the thickness. Ah, sorry, wrong side. Maybe one fifty, and okay. Yeah, that's it. So now we can we can just ping it back and select the curtain system. Go edit type, change this one to the new type, and click on OK. And、yep. So now we have some big beams, and it、uh, looks okay. Now the next step is we need to get rid of this one. So this is the curtain, the system, the panel. So if 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 you if let me just try to select the curtain system. Uh, hell. This one. Uh, no. This one. No. Let me just H H the mass. This okay, so this is a curtain system, and as you can see, there's no curtain panel、um, set 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 set、um, exactly the same as a curtain wall. If you don't, if you do not have curtain panel, if if you have curtain panel as now by default, it will be using the system panel glazed 
which is this one okay so if we want to uh, have nothing we need to um, have some empty panel but in this case because the order although they look like a square like rectangular they are actually not so which means if I if, if we use um, let me just uh, load a family so if we use so here so curtain wall panel if we use this empty panel it, I don't think it will work because this is only work this will only work for rectangular shape but they are not okay so let me try and can I be see here uh, yeah it won't work for non rectangular shape so what we need to do is uh, we need have we need to find that special empty um, curtain panel so previously I'll just I have this one for open so I pre previously when when I'm doing this shade panel so it's roughly if, if you want to find it so you should be able to find if you, if you check the date of the videos and uh, roughly that date so we have a shared uh, uh, empty system panel uh, there so you should be able to find this file and just copy this and into into here I just copy paste and now there is a new empty panel so you go here so there will be uh, rather, rather than this empty panel empty panel so it's empty system panel empty okay so if you choose this one this will be can be used for any um, any in a uh, non rectangular shape so it's not changing it's um, this is because all these panels are not pinged so select all is a and just ping them so this will change them back to the setting to the panel in the setting okay so all good now we only have these so I think that's pretty good right so now type HR to, to get out and uh, get a roof out um, maybe maybe I'll just change the direction of the roof just put on the top and maybe change to a stinger roof and this is I think this is quite quite okay and you probably yeah uh, yeah you can try to hide them make a wall thicker maybe <laughs> yeah I think um, yes yeah, so this is one of the uh, of, of the the method so using a curtain system and you can also use different method uh, if you want to so for, for, for example um, for this one you, it's a little bit hard to adjust the the orientation or the direction of these um, grids uh, actually there's no way to adjust uh, this is offset I think yeah but if you want to you know make them so for example all these you want to make them to perfectly straight how can we do it yes we can we can do it use um, pat pattern based use divided surface in the mass instead of use uh, patterns uh, curtain system so I'm going to quickly show you it's not the not very detailed but just to show you the possibility so I'm going to copy this one to the uh, next to it so I just leave one there so for this one I'll delete this curtain system so I'm going to edit this mass in this mass so you can directly use divided surface but this you will see these grids follow follow this it's curved and not straight so what you can do is I'll turn off all these and then you can just draw reference plans uh, oh hell yeah, not here so let me just finish this one we need to draw reference plan first oh sorry not 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 in 3d view <laughs> uh, maybe we, sh we should be able to just go to side plan and select this mass uh, hell yeah, which one uh, this one this one uh, this is roof so HH the roof okay edit uh, in place and then we should be able to draw directly reference plans so RP draw reference plans so you can just copy them you know I'll just quickly copy some and then you can just oops sorry rotate them with a copy 90 degree oh so result did I just uncheck that one uh, oh Ah, 90 degree yeah so I just roughly okay so so just look at this area and then we can use select this uh, 
mass because we we, we uncheck the u and the v grid so we can use this uh, intersect select all these uh, reference plan and oh did i just cancel it so let's do it again intersect sel and select these and uh, check click check check this one first now you can see all these grid and then uh, finish 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 map oh no 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 not finish mass we still need to f find some pattern so now let's have a look so now you can see we have m some um, grids which are uh, straight parallel to you know you can you can actually you can have any direction you can rotate them but this is another way and if you're asking oh where's where's all those uh, frame <laughs> yeah we need one extra step so we just need to create a pattern based um, family for this one I think um, pattern ba based yeah I think we can use rectangle um, rectangle should be okay so yeah basically we can i'll just uh, yeah just don't worry about the overlapping issue so i'll just quickly just draw something okay so 45 on the other side and then 90 and the thick 300 make it 300 so now select this as profile path create form that's frame load this back to project 2 and select this and we should be able to so just edit it again and change that to a family one so now let's have a look in 3d view and then yeah i think that's it so you can see all these are quite similar so if yeah as long once once we create or uh, add more reference reference uh, reference plans and uh, you know create all these uh, uh, patterns it will it will be very similar to that but yeah the only issue it, for this one is it's this overlapping issue here so maybe we can ch I'll, I'll just quickly um, quickly I'll try this one so rectangle check board check check board <laughs> For this one because for this one they will be empty and one frame there, there won't be any um over overlapping issues so but what we need to do is we need to go back to here change the change the grid type to this and then we will need to do it again um yeah that's fine we'll I'll just draw place onto this and select them and i'll just try to pick that that's good and then once again we just create this and load it back and overwrite go to 3d view select it go back here okay so now at least um <laughs> this is still a little bit overlapping issue but not as much um as the the previous one so you can see it's only corner so yeah so this is it another way of doing it um and i believe there's more so for example you, you probably you can um use structural as well but uh, yeah i think you can um i'm not sure but if you can somehow somehow um I'll show you <laughs> I'll show you so, 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 so I think you can somehow do this so because um, you can't really directly place a structure beam onto this you you can't you can't you can't okay you can't create a curved by just doing this but if if you know if you place a wall you know under this and then attached to the roof so this will create a line so you can see if i hh the roof you will have this curved line 3d curved line or 2d curved sorry 
and then you can use pick uh, you can place um, pick line I'm not sure whether you need to 3d snapping but I don't think you need oh maybe you need <laughs> yeah you was you can see you can you can actually create something you know along this line and then you can just delete this if you delete this the, you, you will keep this uh, beam so which means if I HR so now you have something there right and then you can just you know <laughs> create multiple walls and then just place them get rid of the wall and you will have something like that as well okay so that's it um, three different method and if you if you if you uh, have any uh, uh, other different method please let me know okay so that's it thank you i'll see you next time thank you bye